Before Sunday's race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Chase Elliott knew his father Bill had won on that same track five times during his illustrious Cup Series career. Unfortunately, that same type of success had eluded the 26-year-old driver. His home track hadn't provided a home field advantage. In his eight previous attempts, Elliott achieved moderate success, including six top 10 finishes, but he never managed to finish in the spot that matters most. On Sunday, that all changed, as the 2020 champ held off a hard-charging Corey LaJoy and the rest of the field to win for the first time at the track and, more impressively, collect his third trophy of the year. His dad watched from afar as his son finally conquered the 1.5-mile track. This week, the proud father made an appearance on Sirius XM NASCAR radio to talk about his son's first win at Atlanta. However, before discussing the victory, the elder Elliot first wanted to make a point about the track. Well, you know, it's, I still like the old, old Atlanta configuration. It kind of had a unique personality to it. I never, I never grew accustomed to the new, to the new era there. The new era Elliot is referring to occurred in 1997 when the track had its first reconfiguration, where the start finish line was moved from the west to the east side of the track and two dog legs were added to the front stretch to form a quad oval. All of Elliot's victories came before the reconfiguration. His son's victory came on the reconfigured version of that reconfiguration, which was done this past offseason. Elliot said the latest win at Atlanta is a sign that his son and crew chief Alan Gustafson has started to put it all together and figure out the next-gen car. While Sirius host Mike Bagley and Todd Gordon were interested in talking about Chase's win, Gordon couldn't help but revisit Bill's comments on the previous configuration and asked him his thoughts about the older version. The Hall of Famer offered a surprising response and spoke up for many NASCAR fans who feel like they've been forgotten. Dang, I, I really enjoyed it back then. It was, uh, like I said, it was unique in its own way. Uh, it had its own personality. You know, when you come in and they reconfigured it, and, you know, it just, to me, I, I just like that old, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sentimental to the old generation, you know, the the Wilkesburgs and the Rockinghams and the places like that that, that we kind of grew up going to and, you know, it becoming a custom of going there throughout the years. And, you know, I understand things change and, I mean, everything's changed, you know, and, you know, we've got to change to move on. But, you know, it's just like my generation, you know, growing up watching, you know, Richard and Pearson and Kale and all the guys, you know, throughout that generation. And, you know, I mean, that's kind of what you live for. I mean, and that's kind of what, you know, drove, drove NASCAR and built NASCAR to what it is today. When Elliot finished, Bagley asked him if he could have ever imagined seeing the dramatic changes in his lifetime, like racing inside a football stadium or in Atlanta that is more like Daytona and Talladega. Elliot fired a shot. I didn't think we needed another day to home Talladega, but I guess we got it. I guess we got it. That's how a lot of NASCAR fans feel. Like the sport has moved on and away from the past into a new era that ignores its rich history like Wilkesboro, and fans can't do a darn thing about it. They're stuck with it. That's partially true. Thankfully, there are folks like Dale Earnhardt Jr., who ironically enough, worked closely with Marcus Smith CEO and president of Speedway Motorsports, which also owns Atlanta, to bring Wilkesboro back to life, beginning with racing this summer and a larger renovation scheduled for 2023. This proves with enough people pulling in the same direction, it can be done. The elder Elliot, like most fans, will be pleased to see that historic track's restoration. He just wishes the same could be done with Atlanta and he'd personally recommend going with either the 1985 or 1992 version.